Welcome back, all you sports and gambling fans out there. Today we have some NHL betting coverage for you. And joining me here, Ross Benjamin, our SBR contributor. The game we're looking at is the Buffalo Sabres going up against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Ross, pleasure to have you here. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, Dex. Thank you for having me. All right. Now, Buffalo has been long removed from the playoff race, but is coming into this game after beating a hur the Hurricanes 4-3 to this past Monday. Unfortunately, that win is one of a total of three in their last 10 games, which shows their poor level of performance. But besides this, what else can you tell us about this Buffalo team, Ross? Well, the Sabres are currently dead last in the NHL standings and are just two points behind the Arizona Coyotes. The Sabres would clinch the bottom overall spot by losing one of their two remaining games. And why is that so significant, Dax? Well, I know you haven't asked, but I'm glad that it was brought up by finishing 30th overall, Buffalo would give themselves the highest percentage of winning the 2015 NHL draft lottery. And in turn, that would provide a golden opportunity to draft 18 year old Connor McDavid. The highly coveted player is projected to be the best teenage prospect since Sidney Crosby. The Sabres have been the lowest scoring team in the NHL for the entire season. However, they've scored three goals or more in seven of their previous eight games. Unfortunately, they've also given up three or more in its last four in nine of their previous 10 games. The Sabres have gone a dismal 9-31 and against the money line on the road this season and have a horrible minus 1.8 goal per game differential in those 40 contests. All right, now on the other side of the ice, we have the Blue Jackets who breezed to a 5 to nothing victory over Toronto this past Wednesday, two days after seeing their club best nine-game winning streak come to a halt with a 4-3 to overtime loss to the New York Rangers last Monday. Now, should we expect them to continue with their winning ways in this spot, Ross? I absolutely think they will continue in their winning ways tonight, Dax. Uh, they've gone to sizzling 10-1 and in the last 11 and 13-2 and in their last 15 games against the money line. As you alluded to, their only loss in the last 11 came versus the Rangers, and that came in overtime at Madison Square Garden. And remind everybody, the Rangers are the President's Trophy winners from this season already, as they're the number one overall seed in the entire NHL for the upcoming 2015 Stanley Cup playoffs. Columbus is also averaging a terrific 4.1 goals scored per contest over their last 15 games, Dak. So they're playing extremely well and at a very high level right now. All right, I guess that's why uh, bookmakers are pretty sure that the Blue Jackets are going to win it because they have the money line set at the tune of minus 340 all the way to minus 400. Uh, the total was set to five and a half goals. So, Ross, obviously this money line is ridiculously high and we're not going to bet on it. What's the best play here? Well, the Sabres should be commended for the stellar efforts they've exhibited in recent games despite the distractions off the ice. But at the end of the day, Dax, they'll be overmatched in a big way tonight versus an opponent that's playing with an extreme amount of confidence right now. I'm going to use the puck line here. We're going to play on the Columbus Blue Jackets, minus one and a half, minus 115 on the puck line over the Buffalo Sabres. All right, Ross, good stuff, man. Thank you very much for the insights and the pick. And we'll talk some more again next Monday. And, uh... Thanks again, man. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, Dex. All right, everyone else, don't forget to check back with Ross tomorrow for some more sports coverage and your free picks. Till then, for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd.